that one too. Uh, there was talk of you having a meeting with Conor McGregor in Liverpool. Was that supposed to take place at this event, or is, was that behind closed doors? I, I thought that was going to be the first question I got when I walked in. <laughs> Proud of you guys. Yeah. Um, the slow build-up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, Conor and I are going to meet in Vegas. You're going to meet in Vegas? Yeah. And what is the situation with you two? Are, are you on good terms at the moment, or is that to be decided when you meet? Yeah, I mean, he and I haven't seen each other since New York, so... We haven't seen each other, we haven't talked, nothing, so we need to get together soon. I mean, I've been hearing he's been in training. Are your thoughts right now on getting a fight booked with him before the year is over? Is that something that fans can expect? It depends on what goes on with him in New York in June. So, uh, anyway, so that a lot is to be decided about Connor's career depending on how things happen in June. Uh, well, we can't, we can't determine anything about what's next for him until June is cleared up. If Ideal scenario, things go things go smoothly. Everyone's talking about Khabib versus Connor. It, it, would that you know, like I said, fingers crossed, things go as planned. Is that a plan for you? I'm I'm pretty confident that that is the fight that Connor wants, and I'm pretty confident that that is the fight that Khabib wants. So, yeah, I can see that happening. And uh, gotta ask as well. Uh, last time we saw Alexander Gustafsson, he looked phenomenal. Uh, there was the fight with Rockhold was supposed to be happening. That's off the table now. It seems. Uh, what do you see for a future for Gustafsson? He's, he's still yeah. close, but not no, really. we have to get him another opponent. Yeah, we we'll keep him on that card and get him another opponent. Yeah, Rockhold screwed up his shin, so. And you know, just off the top of your head, who would that opponent be? No clue. No clue right now. Okay. That's what I got to work on when I get home. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Dana. Yeah. Right in front of me. Um, the ESPN deal. So if you had all the potential broadcast partners on the list, was ESP, ESPN and, and all their you know, platforms number one on that list for you? Obviously, if you look at, you know, ESPN wouldn't cover us, you know, not too long ago. And now we're on ESPN. We're, we're in business with Disney. It's, it's probably the most monumental thing that has happened uh, in the history of this company. The history of the sport for everyone. It's big. I don't care how you're involved in this sport, this deal that we just cut is big. So we're going to get 42 events next year. Right. What about UFC Fight Pass? Will we see any events from the UFC on Fight Pass? Uh, yeah, you, you know, the, the ESPN deal is just in the United States. Right. So, yeah, Fight Pass is the rest of the world.